Right, another harder one. Same process as the one I've just done, except this time we're going to get lots and lots of fractions popping up, just to show that it can happen and not to be, not to be scared. So we're going to complete the square with 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Notice it's one of the trickier ones because they, we've got two lots of x squared, not just one. So I'm going to start with 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. And I have to take out a common factor of 2 because I need to have the coefficient of x squared equal to 1. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So it's x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 5 over 2. Now, it's far, far better to leave these fractions top heavy. Don't write them as mixed numbers. Keep the 2 going. Don't lose it. This is what I'm going to use to complete the square. So the beginning of my bracket is x. Half the coefficient of, three of x. So 3 over 2 divided by 2 is 3 over 4. Don't panic about the fractions. You will be able to cope with them. So multiply out over here, x plus 3 over 4, x plus 3 over 4, gives me x squared, that and that is my 3 over 2x, and then I've got 3 over 4 times 3 over 4, which is 9 over 16. So I get rid of the 9 over 16 that I don't want, and I add in the 5 over 2, which I do want from up there. Keep the 2 going, so it's 2 lots of x plus 3 quarters, all squared, and then minus 9 over 16 plus 5 over 2 is plus 31 over 16. Now, if you want to see how I did that, it's minus 9 over 16 plus 5 over 2. You need the both denominators to be the same. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by here by 8. So it's minus 9 over 16 plus 40 over 16, which gives me 31 over 16. Again, you can leave it as it is. You can leave it like that. Or if I multiply the curly bracket, you get two lots of x plus 3 quarters squared plus 31 over 8.